I hit six shots, but only fired four times, which gave me 150% accuracy. Had to start the video with that because it was funny to see. It's rare people line up twice like that. Synchronized dodging. Could it be the new Olympic sport? No. Anyway, this is called the Logitech G604 Gaming Mouse, but I think it's better for productivity. Maybe MMOs though, because it does have a lot of buttons. But general gaming, I wouldn't even recommend something this weight. However, I was asked to take a look and give some thoughts, so here we are. Okay, first, they didn't try to save weight. You can tell because it's using this old wheel. It's not the hollowed out one. But it's great to have one of these wheels anyway. Also, it's a tilt wheel, so you have left and right too. With the alkaline battery it comes with, it weighs about 136 grams. With a lithium, it's about 128. There are six side buttons and they're pretty easy to navigate using the joint for the back two, then tip for the front four. The thumb rests above the pad, but this curve here, while comfortable, doesn't really allow for a strong grip. It feels okay though. On the left mouse button, there are two extra DPI buttons, slightly raised and easy to hit. There's a connectivity button behind the wheel, so this mouse is also Bluetooth, and the other is wheel lock. Here's a quick listen to them all. Pretty satisfying, all good really, and the very subtle comfort curves in the buttons feel decent. The right side of the mouse seems to force a certain grip. The front is good, but the back has this raised area, so for people who rest their little fingers back here, they won't be able to on this one. Maybe it's good for 131 grip. It's actually a very strange design choice, because they weren't saving on weight, and it doesn't look good. It's just limiting how it can be held for no apparent reason. Might be over designed. Here's a look at the base so you can see how they've put this strange curvature all around. Overall comfort is okay, but I actually prefer the G502. So unless you need the extra side buttons, I think the G502 wireless is a much better choice. Comfort wise, weight, features, all that. Here it is next to some other Logitech wireless mice so you get an idea of the size. If you do need the extra buttons, then yeah, this is a great productivity mouse, which I would say is the intended audience other than MMO players. I still have trouble seeing this as a gaming mouse, although by performance, it actually is, and that may be why they've called it that. So I tested the latency, and Logitech is solid with their tech. The Hero Sensor performs extremely well, and it saves on battery a lot, so you should be able to expect to use this on one battery for a very long time. Apparently, it's up to 240 hours. It has onboard memory and is supported in Logitech G Hub software. Usual features like changing what each button does, which is an absolute must for all these extras. And G Shift functionality means you can hold one button in and change what all the others do. And usual DPI adjustments too in steps of 50. The software is still in development, so there might be some hiccups. And that's basically it. It's good, but could be better. And can I play with it? Well, yeah, but I can play with almost anything. Once you learn a game, you can usually make something happen but can I play well with it? No, not really, but I play okay. Just a reminder that getting the right mouse is about unlocking potential. I don't really think it's going to unlock your potential unless you're needing a lot of buttons in your game. And a mouse this heavy and with this design isn't a recommendation for first person shooters, but I doubt anyone was thinking that anyway. That said, I'll leave you with some highlights from a few hours of using it. I barely tested it out and still got some decent ones. So a big thank you to Logitech for sending it out so I could test it. Video isn't sponsored as usual, but hope it helped and usual links in the description if you want to help support what I do. So as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.
Two frags in two seconds. Accuracy. Impressive. Come on. 